G'day folks, it's Cortez Arino, and today I'm going to show you how to build my Japanese inspired, what would you call this, an elvish house? I don't know, but I've given it the very inventive name, the greenhouse. And as you can see, this is a very fanciful build. We have a beautifully coloured roof with big curly bits on the sides and some lovely spires up the top. It is a very cute house indeed. And for the tutorial guys, we will not be doing an interior, although it is sort of fully done on the inside, so it's ready for you to move in. And for today's tutorial, we will be building exactly what you can see right here. Although I do have another version of this house that is built on a little outcropping of land. So if you would like to build this one here, if you go into the video description, you can find a Java edition world download that contains this little bit of land at the bottom. So you can copy that into your world if you want to. And you can also find a full materials list in the video description, but the materials list will be for this version right here. And this is how the build looks without shaders. So I think that's enough talking. Let's jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so we want to begin by building a rectangle of stone just on top of the grass. And this rectangle will be 11 blocks by 27. So the front of the building will be on one of the longer sides. So this will be my front. I want you to come along to the right hand side and we're going to count four blocks in. So one, two, three, four. On the fourth block, we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks. Then we'll turn the corner and add 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we'll connect it like that. And now you can just go ahead and fill everything in with stone. Okay, I want you to grab stripped dark oak and a bunch of composters and we're just going to run them all the way around. So we'll just give you the aerial view and you can copy that in. Okay, come along to the front and on this pillar here we're going to add one, two, three stripped dark oak with a sea lantern and one, two, three and a sea lantern. Now they don't have to be sea lanterns. You can use any light emitting block that you like. Now on top of every other strip dark oak, we're going to add one, two, three, four, five. So just do that for all of these. And that's how you should look when you're done. So now we're going to look over here and just at the end of these composters, we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks. And then we'll build this section of wall right here. So just above our composters, we're going to add stripped dark oak. And then I want you to grab some white concrete. I'm going to put two right there with two calcite on top. Over here, I'm going to go one, two, three with a calcite on top. Now holding shift, we'll do four bamboo trapdoors. And we'll do the same right here. Just hold shift, put in your bamboo trapdoors and flick them up. And then across the top, we're going to add stripped dark oak all the way along. Now, most of our walls are going to follow a pattern sort of like this. So rather than build them all, I'm just going to show them to you and you can build them yourself. So here's the wall we just built. And just to the right of that, the wall will look like this. And if we fly around the building, this is the next side. So you can just pause the video as we fly around and you can copy all of this in. All right, once you've done all of those, you can come along to the front and we're going to place one, two, three stone blocks, and then we'll do three spruce stairs in front, then three spruce slabs. Then one, two, three, four spruce planks, and then we'll place two stone blocks. On top of the stone blocks, we're going to switch to stripped spruce wood, and we're going to place pillars of four with one on its side in the middle. We'll put an upside down spruce stair like that, and then come to this side and place in your spruce door. Now you can come back around to the front against our sea lanterns. We're going to place two upside down spruce stairs, then grab spruce trapdoors, we'll place one in the middle, and then on each side here we're going to place three trapdoors and flick them down. 
And staying with our trapdoors, we're going to cover up the fronts of those sea lanterns. And on the inside of the building, we'll cover up that side as well. Now grab some polished diorite and we're going to place three right there. And on this side, another three. And then connect them with stripped dark oak logs. Now just grab your polished diorite again and we're going to run these all the way around the building just on top. So do that all the way around. Okay, now you can come back to the front of the building and we're going to place an upside down spruce stair just above our door with spruce slabs each side and then two more upside down spruce stairs. Then look at it from the side and we're going to go one, two, three, four upside down stairs and the same on this side. Okay, now we're going to spin around to this part of the building and looking in this direction, we're going to place two upside down spruce stairs. And we're just going to run these along until we reach that dark oak. So do the same right here. And then if we come to the opposite side of the building, so just for this little corner right here, we're going to do the same thing. So just two lines of upside down spruce stairs. Okay, we're going to continue around to this section right here. And what I built here copied the exact same thing to that far side over there. So we're going to start with two spruce slabs. And then looking from the side, we're going to run upside down stairs until we reach the dark oak. And we'll do the same here. And then looking from this direction, we will do the exact same thing. So go ahead, copy that to the opposite wall. And then once that's in, come around to the back wall and right in the middle, place your two spruce slabs. And then it's just exactly the same as what we did before. We're running our upside down stairs along until we reach the dark oak in the corner. Okay, come to the front of the building and we're just going to look at this corner right here. We're going to put a spruce fence, a chain and a lantern. Now just above that, we're going to look at that upside down stair. Place another one against it and keep going until we reach the dark oak in the corner. And then in the corner, we'll place a spruce slab. Now the other side, just over here, we're going to do the same thing. So one, two, three, four upside down stairs and then a spruce slab in the corner. Now we have four other corners to do and these are all exactly the same. We'll go one, two, three spruce slabs and then an oak trap door in the corner. So do that for each of these. Okay, now come back to the front door. Just down here, I'm going to place a cracked stone brick and I'll do a mossy stone brick there. They will have andesite walls on top and lanterns on top of those. Now, just here in the corner, I'm going to place a stone brick with spruce fences above five in total. And in the same spot on this side, this time I'll just do a stone block and I'll put in spruce fences. And we're going to be doing lots of these blocks with spruce fences above. So rather than build them all individually, we will just fly around the building so you can see where to put them in. So pause the video as you need to and build all of these. Okay, now we're going to come in our front door and we're looking at that dark oak pillar over there. At the bottom, we're going to add two spruce planks, then a sea lantern, and then one, two, three on each side. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and then just make a rectangle and fill in the center with stone. Once again, these don't have to be sea lanterns because they won't be visible. Now, everywhere else in the room, we're just going to fill it in with spruce planks, and every now and then just mix in a stripped spruce log for a bit of extra decoration. So when you're done, you should be looking something like this. Now using green and lime green carpet, just go ahead and cover up our sea lanterns and stones. So there's the front door if you want to copy exactly what I've done here. Okay, now we're going to do the skirting around the outside of the building. Now what you want to do is whenever you get to a corner between these blocks, either put a stone brick slab or a stone slab. And then for the rest of the walls, we're going to use a random mixture of stone stairs and stone brick stairs. And then just remember to put your slabs in the corners. So go ahead and run these stairs and slabs all the way around the building. 
Okay, grab spruce trapdoors and we're going to run a big ring of them all the way around the building. But I want you to keep the textures in the same direction. So when you get to here, just hold shift and place them against each other. So all the lines are facing the same way and just keep going all the way around. And that's how you should look when you're done. So now looking from the front of the building, I want you to place a stone block on that pillar right there. And we're also going to place a stone block on top of that pillar of stone blocks. Now, starting in this direction, we're going to run a big ring of stone all the way around on top of our diorite blocks. And we are going to finish where that stone block is over there. And once you've done that, we are going to add a stone block there and another one right there. And we'll do the same thing. We're just going to run another ring of stone. And these stone blocks will not be visible, so you could use dirt if you wanted to. So once you've done that, we are going to stay with our stone and place one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, just on top of our diorite. And the same thing here, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three. Okay, now we're going to come to the inside of our building, and we're looking at that dark oak pillar again, just behind our carpet. So just in front of that, we are going to add six stripped dark oak. And you can place six ladders on the front. Now I want you to look to the right, grab some stripped dark oak. And we're going to place one there and one there. And then from the corners, we're going to skip three blocks. Then place a dark oak. Same over here. One, two, three. And place a dark oak. And then I want you to look to the other end of the building and right down here, we're going to place two more stripped dark oak. If you turn to the right, we're going to look at this little window here. We're going to place two more stripped dark oak, just leaving a four block gap in between. And if you turn around, look at this little window over here, we are going to do the same thing. And then just over here where this stone pillar is, leave a one block gap and then place another strip dark oak. Now on top of all of these strip dark oak, we're gonna add one, two, three, four, with a sea lantern on top, and that'll be the same for each of these. And that's how you should look when you're done. So now come stand next to your front door, and we'll look at this pillar here. Next to that, we'll go one, two, three, four, five strip dark oak, with a stone block on top, and just on the opposite wall, we'll do the same thing. So over here, one, two, three, four, five, with a stone block. Now next to the stone and the sea lantern, we'll do two spruce planks. Same on this side. And then with upside down spruce stairs, we're just going to run these all the way along. And on the opposite side, we'll do the same thing. So upside down stairs. Now on this side over here, we're going to grab spruce fences and place them like that. And then right here, I'll do an end rod. And on the opposite side, we'll do the same thing. And this time I'm gonna place an upside down end rod right there. Okay, look over to your front door and just on top, we're gonna to place a stone block in the middle with spruce planks either side and a spruce trap door against the stone. And then in this corner over here, we'll go one, two, three, four, five strip dark oak with a stone block on top. And we will do the exact same thing in this corner. Now grab some spruce stairs. We'll place one, two, three upside down and another three. And then just against the diorite, we'll place four right there. And the exact same thing on this side. Now grab some ochre frog lights and we're going to place four right there. Turn the corner, run these around. Don't place one on top of the stone block though. On top of that stone block, we're just going to place a stripped dark oak log. So that's how you should look when you're done. Okay, now I want you to look at this little section of the wall. Down the bottom, we'll do a stripped dark oak log on its side, then a white concrete, then a calcite, then another stripped dark oak log. We'll place polished diorite on top, then spruce planks, then we're just going to cover our sea lanterns with spruce trapdoors. And we're going to continue doing that all the way around the room. Just one spruce trapdoor on the outward facing side of our sea lanterns. 
Okay, now grab some spruce stairs and against all of our sea lanterns just on the sides, we're going to be placing the stairs upside down just like this. So do that for each of these and also do it on the pillar where our ladder is. Okay, once you've done that all the way around, all we're going to do is staying with our upside down spruce stairs, we are just going to run these all the way around the building. Okay, now that's done, we're looking at this rectangular room right here. What we're going to do in the corners of this rectangle, we are going to place stone blocks just on top of that upside down stair. And then we're going to connect all of these stone blocks with stripped dark oak. And once you've built that rectangle, we're going to look at the wall where our ladder is. And just above the three spruce trap doors, we are going to place a stripped dark oak log. Now each of these will be the same. We're just going to run them all the way along with an upside down spruce stair each side of it where it connects like so. So do that for each of these. And once that's done, come to the top of our ladder and we're going to place a spruce trap door above it. And then look over to this section here and we're just going to continue upside down spruce stairs all the way along just like that. And on the opposite side, just at the end of our frog lights, we are going to place stone blocks and then we'll connect those with stripped spruce logs. Okay, now we're going to come back around to this big rectangular room and with spruce slabs, we're just going to fill in the roof. So we'll do these two little sections on the end and this big section here. And that's how you should look when you're done. So now looking from this direction, just diagonally in from this stone block, we are going to place a stripped spruce log and diagonally from this stone block, we'll place another and we'll just place one every second block. And then we'll come around to this side and on top of the dark oak, we are going to do five matching stripped spruce. And then just add an extra four to each of these. So one, two, three, four. So go ahead, do that for all of them. Okay, now come around to this side here and on the second block up, we're going to place a spruce plank. And we are just going to make a triangle out of these. So you'll have to place a few temporary blocks to build that. And then what you can do is place two stripped spruce there and another two right there. So go ahead and build the exact same thing just over here. So that's how you should look when you're done. Now we're just going to fill up the gaps between these blocks with a mixture of calcite and bone blocks. So looking from the front of the building, that's how I did the front wall. There it is on the side. Here's the back wall, so just pause the video as you need to and copy those in. And then you can grab some stone blocks and place one in each corner. And then we are just going to connect these stone blocks with stripped spruce logs. So go ahead and run these all the way around. Once you've done that, come to the front of the building, so this side right here, and starting against the stone, we're going to place upside down spruce stairs every second block with spruce slabs in between, and then we're going to place spruce trap doors all the way across the front. And then once you've done that, come around to the back wall, and we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're using dark oak stairs and dark oak slabs and we're not placing the trapdoors. Then for the two side walls, these are the same, except that there's going to be a dark oak plank right in the middle, but otherwise you're just starting against the stone, placing your upside down stairs with your slabs in between. So go ahead, do the same thing on this side, plank in the middle, then stairs and slabs. Okay, grab some ladders, and just above our trapdoor there, go ahead and run ladders all the way up, and then we're going to fill in the floor at this height using a mixture of oak planks and stripped oak logs. And that's how I did mine, so you can pause the video and copy that in. Okay, now on top of each of our stone blocks, I want you to place four stripped spruce logs. So go ahead, do that for each of those, then come around to the front of the building 
And just diagonally from that spruce, I'm going to place a calcite. Then I'll place two more like that. And diagonally from this spruce, I will do a calcite right there. Then we'll do one, two, three bone blocks and two. And over here, I'll go two and one. And then we'll place two chiseled quartz on top of each of those. Then grab some spruce planks and we'll place three across the top with three spruce slabs in front. And then underneath, we're going to place two oak trapdoors and flick them down. Then with spruce stairs, we're going to look from the side, place two in each corner. Just below it, we'll do a spruce trapdoor and another one up there. And the same on that side. And then you can come to the inside of the building and place two oak doors. Okay, now I want you to swing around to the right hand side and just in the middle here, we're going to place one, two, three, four stripped spruce and then grab some bone blocks. I'm going to place one, two, three, four right there. Then I'll go three calcite and two bone blocks and then holding shift, we'll go one, two, three bamboo trapdoors and flick them up. And then right here, I'm just going to do four bone blocks on each side then one bone block lying on its side, then hold shift again, and three more bamboo trapdoors. Now, the other two sections of wall will look exactly like this. The only difference is where I place the bone blocks and calcite. So here's the back wall, and here's the other wall. Okay, now I want you to look down the bottom here where we've got this stripped spruce on its side. On the stone blocks on the end, we're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 strip dark oak with a stone block on top. So do the same on this side. And then you can come around to the back of the building and we're going to do matching pillars right here. So just in line with them, start with a stone block, then add your 10 stripped dark oak with a stone block on top. So do the same over here. And once that's done, just grab stripped dark oak again, and we're going to connect our stone blocks. Okay, now I want you to look toward the front of your building, and just above these trapdoors, we are going to place sea lanterns. And then you can do a line of stone with an extra one poking out on each end. And then in between these, we'll run some stripped spruce logs. Then in the other two corners, we are going to place stone blocks. And then we're just going to run stripped spruce all the way around the inside, just like this. So that's how you should look when you're done. Then you can grab some spruce fences. And then just against the spruce in each corner, we're going to place one of those and we will hang lanterns. Okay, look to where your ladder is coming up and then turn to face the right. Against this pillar here, we're going to place one, two, three, four ladders. Then we'll change the direction of that log and add an extra two on top. Against the top, we'll do an oak trapdoor and then two more ladders. Now grab some spruce planks and we're going to place one on top of each of our fences. And then just around the outside of these spruce planks, we are going to run a square of stone. So just do that all the way around. And then what you can do is grab some spruce stairs and we're just going to place them upside down against the stone. So once you've done those all the way around, we're just going to continue our stone all the way around the outside here, just covering everything up. So just go ahead, do that until the entire top of the roof is flat. Okay, now come to the front of the building and just diagonally in from this corner, we're going to place a stone block with an extra two and we'll do the same thing on this side and then come to the back of the building and we're going to do two matching lines of stone and then come around to this side and just opposite of our ladder, we're going to place a single stone block right there. And just inside of our stone blocks, we're going to put in a floor of oak planks and stripped oak logs. So there's the aerial view. Just pause the video and copy that in. Okay, grab some stripped dark oak. And on these stone blocks in the corners, 
we're just going to place one on each of those and these are going to be four blocks tall so just go ahead and add an extra three to these and once you've done that we're just going to connect the top of these logs with more dark oak and once you've done that you can add an extra stone block in the corners and in between these we'll place our one two three four five six seven polished diorite so just go ahead run these all the way around okay come along to the front of the building and on top of this middle stone block i'm going to place three bone blocks then three stripped dark oak with a spruce button above and we'll do the same on this side and then once that's in grab the spruce stairs and we're going to place three upside down just at that height and then with bamboo trapdoors holding shift we'll place four and then flick them up so that's the front wall go ahead and build the exact same thing at the back wall and once you've built those come along to your side walls and just on top of that spruce we're going to switch to dark oak place three right there then at this height you can run upside down spruce stairs all the way along then hold shift and place in eight bamboo trapdoors just like so and the opposite wall will be exactly the same except you're starting on top of the stone block there to put in your dark oak but otherwise it's exactly the same so once you've built all your walls i want you to come to the inside and we're going to place a spruce fence in each corner and each of those will have a lantern on top now come up the top and we're just going to add a square of stone blocks all the way around on top of our diorite and once you've done that grab spruce stairs and we're just going to do a ring of stairs upside down okay grab some stone blocks and in each corner we're going to be placing two just like this and then each wall will be exactly the same we're going to start with stripped spruce logs every second block so we place three of them and then two sea lanterns so just go ahead and do the exact same thing on each side and once that's done i want you to come to the inside and in each corner we're going to place a spruce slab and then you can cover up your sea lanterns with spruce trapdoors okay now on each wall i want you to place one two three four stone blocks just in this spot right here and once you've done that on every single wall grab some spruce stairs and we're going to run them upside down just against the bottom three stone blocks then against the top stone block we're going to add two stripped spruce and then we'll put a sea lantern in the middle and underneath we'll put an oak trapdoor okay come to the outside and what i built here copy to every single wall so against the middle diorite we're going to place a spruce slab then looking from the side one two three spruce stairs and then a spruce plank same on this side three upside down stairs and a plank so go ahead do that for every wall and then you can go ahead and add a spruce slab to every single corner and then come back around to the front of the building and we're going to place spruce trapdoors all the way across the front and then we're going to do what we did before i want you to keep the texture of the trapdoors all facing in the same direction and just run these all the way around okay now come along to one corner and what i built here i want you to copy to every corner so we're going to start with dark oak planks there then another one and then holding shift one on that trapdoor on top of the middle dark oak we'll do a dark oak slab and then we'll do a slab just poking out on the diagonal and just lower than that we're going to do two slabs right there and two right there so that's how it looks build that in each corner and once you've got those in come along here hold shift place a dark oak slab against that trapdoor and just run these along until we finish right there so go ahead do that on all four sides okay now what i build on this side i want you to copy to every single side so starting between our sea lanterns we'll do a stripped dark oak log lying on its side with an extra one 
on each side like so, and then two facing straight up in the middle. Then white concrete on top of our sea lanterns. And then starting right here, we're going to make a triangle of stone. So just place five stone blocks. Then looking from the side, we'll do one, two, three dark oak stairs. And the same thing here, one, two, three. Then in the middle, we'll do a dark oak plank. Against the plank, we'll do an upside down dark oak stair. Then looking from this direction on top of the plank, a dark oak stair. Now this will be tricky, you'll have to place a few temporary blocks, but we're going to do a stripped dark oak log lying on its side like that with a spruce button on each side, then on top a dark oak plank. Then looking from this direction, we'll do a dark oak trapdoor right there, and then against this plank a dark oak trapdoor, and the same on that side. So that's how it looks guys, go ahead build that on each side. Okay, what we're going to do now is come down to this balcony area and just against the stone block right there in each corner we're going to place two upside down spruce stairs with a spruce slab in between. So we're going to do the same in all four corners. And once you've done that, just in the middle of the wall place a spruce slab and then look at it from the side and place upside down stairs all the way along. So go ahead, do that for each wall. And then you can grab some spruce trapdoors and we're just going to run these all the way around the building. Once again, just making sure to keep the textures all facing in the same direction. And then we're going to do the same corners that we did above. So on top of that stone block, we'll do a dark oak plank, then another one and hold shift, place another, then a slab right there with another slab on the diagonal and then two slabs and two slabs. So build that in each corner. And once again, hold shift to place in your first dark oak slab and place them like that on each side. Okay, now we're going to come all the way down to the front of the building. And starting here, we're going to do a stripped dark oak log lying on its side. And we're just going to cover up these frog lights at the front. So place an extra four each side of that. And then right in the middle, we'll go one, two, three. Then we'll do a single bamboo trapdoor on each side. And then two calcite blocks just on the diagonal like so. Then we'll grab some spruce planks. We're going to place one right there and another there. Then spruce stairs, we're going to place two upside down just against the calcite. And then up the top here, we'll do another spruce plank. And then on top of all of that spruce, we're just going to make a triangle of stone blocks. Just like that. Okay, we're going to come directly behind this and we're looking at this wall right here. So right in the middle, we'll do one, two, three calcite with an extra to each side and then on the ends two stripped spruce logs. Now just above here right in the middle we'll do a right way up dark oak stair and then we're going to run dark oak slabs all the way along. On top of that stone block we'll do a dark oak plank with an extra dark oak slab. Now down the bottom here we're going to go two dark oak planks with an extra one and then a dark oak slab. Same thing on this side, so one, two, three planks and a slab. Then looking from the side, one, two, three dark oak stairs and the same on that side. Okay, now we're going to spin around to the side wall. And what I built here, I want you to build the exact same thing on the opposite wall. So on top of this dark oak, right in the middle, we'll place one, two, three, four strip dark oak. Then holding shift, two bamboo trapdoors and another two right there. Then grab some calcite, we'll go one, two, three, four. And the same thing here, one, two, three and four. Now grab some stone blocks and just against that stone, we'll place another one then two more and one down there on the diagonal. Same thing here, one, two, three and four. And then grab your dark oak again and we're just going to run a line across the front. So go ahead and build that on the other side. And once again, what I build right now, 
copy to the opposite wall. So against the curl side, we're going to look from the side and place three upside down spruce stairs. And we'll do the same on that side. Then up the top, we'll do a sea lantern with a spruce trapdoor underneath and one across the front. And then grab some dark oak planks and come to this stone block poking out on the end. And we're going to go plank, then slab, then two planks. And we'll do the same up this end. So plank, slab, and two planks. And then just up here, we're going to go one, two stone blocks and another two. Then grab some dark oak stairs. Look from this direction on the top stone block. We're going to place a stair. And then from this direction, we'll place upside down stairs against those. And then just down here, one, two stairs. And the same thing on this side, two dark oak stairs. Okay, from now on, the two sides will be different. So don't copy what I'm doing. So we're going to come around to the right hand side of the building and grab some melons. And against the upside down stairs, we're going to place a melon right there. And then looking from the side, two dark oak stairs on top of those. Then you can place a melon in between with an extra two. And then we're going to switch to blocks of bamboo. We'll put two of them like that with a moss block on the end. And then we'll come around to this side of the building. We'll start the same with a melon against that stair. But this time we're going to do a block of bamboo on that side. Then we'll put two dark oak stairs above those with a melon in between. Then we'll come around to this side. We'll add one, two, three melons. Then one, two, three bamboo. Then two bamboo planks. A single bamboo, two moss blocks, and finish with two green concrete. And just underneath this, I want you to place a spruce fence in between those two spruce planks. Then we'll go one, two spruce fence gates, and another fence. And then starting from this side, same thing. So fence, two spruce fence gates, and a fence, and then just run fence gates in between. Then underneath all of our fences, we are going to hang a lantern. And we'll do the same thing up this side, but it's a bit shorter. So up there, we'll do a fence on the end of fence with two fence gates in between and hang our two lanterns. OK, come along to the front door and we're going to come along to this corner here diagonally from that stone. We'll do another stone block with a dark oak slab on top and we'll place another one in this corner right here. And now the two corners will be exactly the same. So we're going to do a dark oak plank in the corner. Then against that, we're going to do two upside down dark oak stairs and the same thing here, one against the plank and another one. And then in the corner, we'll do a dark oak slab just poking up like that. So go ahead, do the same thing over here. And once you've built both of those, against the bottom half of that stair, we're going to add three dark oak slabs. Then at the front of the building, at the same height, we're going to run our slabs all the way along until we connect. And then in this spot here, we're just going to add one, two, three dark oak slabs. OK, now we'll swing around to the side wall. And what I built here, copy the exact same thing to the opposite wall. So on top of our oak trapdoor, we're going to do a sea lantern with a dark oak slab on top. And then we're going to look at it from the corner. Just behind the slab, we'll do a dark oak plank, then hold shift and do another one. Then we'll do two dark oak stairs and another two upside down. And then in the corner, we'll do our slab poking up on the angle. And we'll do the same thing in this corner. So sea lantern, slab, two dark oak planks, then four upside down dark oak stairs, and then our slab in the corner. And then across the front, we're just going to connect them with dark oak slabs. So once you've built that on each side, come around to the front of the building and just at the bottom half of that stair, we're going to run our dark oak slabs along until we connect. On the other side, it's super easy. We only need to place one slab right there. And then at the back wall, we've got a longer line of them to do. So just against the bottom half of that stair, run these all the way along. 
Okay, come along to the front of our building and with an ochre frog light, we're going to place it just there. And we are going to completely surround this with our bamboo trapdoors. So you'll need four of them. Then against the stone, we'll do one, two, three bamboo planks with a block of bamboo on the end. And then on this side, we'll just do two planks and then two bamboo. Then grab bamboo trapdoors and we'll go one, two, three and one, two, three. And then we're going to look over to this corner. We'll do a block of bamboo on its side there. And then one, two, three, and then a bamboo slab right there. And we'll do the same thing up this side, but this time I'll put a bamboo plank in the corner. And then one, two, three, bamboo, and a slab. Now, because this roof is so intricate, I'm just going to show you some sections of it. So for this section, you're going to need your bamboo block, the planks, the mosaic, and your mosaic slab and regular slab. So just you can see here, we've got slabs across the front, and then it's all blocks behind that. So just pause the video here and copy that in. Okay, swing around to the right hand side of the building and starting against this stone, we'll do one, two, three, four bamboo blocks. And on this side, two bamboo and then two bamboo planks. Then underneath, we're going to go one, two, three bamboo trapdoors on each side. Then I want you to grab a green concrete block. We'll place it next to the sea lantern. And then we'll do a bamboo block right there and grab another sea lantern, place it there with moss carpet on top, then two moss and another two and a grass right there. And then over on this side next to the sea lantern, one, two, three stone blocks. And once again, I'll just show you the blocks to place in here. So these are all full blocks except for the three slabs just on top of those stone blocks. So pause the video and copy that in. And then we'll swing around to the left hand side of the building. And starting against that stone, we'll do one, two, three, four bamboo blocks. And then on this side, one, two, and then two bamboo planks. Then you can grab your bamboo trapdoors and we'll place three right there and another three. Then grab a sea lantern, we'll place it next to that sea lantern with some moss carpet on top. And then we're going to skip two blocks and then place one, two, three stone blocks. And then right up the end here next to this sea lantern, we'll do two moss blocks and some grass. And once again, you can pause the video here and copy in these blocks. Okay, now we're going to start filling in the roof. And I've done this section here. I'm not going to place them block for block. I'll just be flying around and showing it to you. But here are all the blocks you'll need. So you'll need the melons, the bamboo. There'll be sea lanterns with moss carpet on top. Your two varieties of planks there. You'll need green, concrete, some grass and moss blocks. And then often there'll be slabs on top of stone blocks. So I'll just come up here. You can pause the video and copy these in and I'll just fly in a little bit closer if you need to get some extra details. And once you've built that, you can come around to this side and pause the video and copy that in and we'll fly in a little bit closer so you can get some extra details. And now we will swing around to the back so you can copy in that section there and we'll fly in a bit closer and also this section here. And if we move on, here is the final section of roof. So go ahead and copy that in. Okay, now I want you to swing around to the left hand side of the building. On top of that last melon, I'll do a dark oak stair with a melon behind it. Then looking from this direction, another dark oak stair. And then we're going to look in this direction and place a line of dark oak stairs all the way along until we connect right there. Then come to the end here. What we're going to do is place an upside down dark oak stair right there. Then we'll do a melon on top 
and then one, two, upside down, dark oak stairs, and another melon. And then you can look over to your right where we've got this final stair. I want to place a dark oak trapdoor, then skip a block, place another, skip a block, and another. So you've got four trapdoors in total. In between those, we're going to place dark oak slabs. On the end, we'll place two more dark oak slabs, then dark oak planks, then looking from this direction, an upside down dark oak stair, and a right way up dark oak stair. Okay, look in this direction at that top melon, and we're going to place an upside down dark oak stair, then a plank, and then a slab. Then on top of the melon, we'll do a slab, then look toward our building and place a right way up dark oak stair on top of the slab. Then from this direction, we'll do a right way up stair and one upside down. And then over here, we're going to do three right way up stairs all on top of each other. Then on top of the upside down stair, we'll do a plank with a slab on that side. Then on this side, a slab with an extra one on top, then we'll do a dark oak trapdoor each side of that top slab, then look toward our building, hold shift and place an upside down stair. And to finish our curly roof, we're going to look in this direction, do a right way up stair, then in this direction, an upside down stair, and in this direction, another upside down stair, and we'll place a dark oak trapdoor. Okay, now we can come around to this side and do the other curl. So on top of that last melon, we'll do a dark oak stair, and then a melon behind it and one on top. Then looking in this direction, one, two, three dark oak stairs. On top of that stair, we'll do a trapdoor and another one, then a slab and then a right way up stair. And then looking from this direction against that stair, we'll do one stair upside down and then above it, two more upside down stairs. Now on top of our melon, place a temporary block so we can look at our building and place an upside down stair, then replace the temporary block with a dark oak slab. Then on top of this stair right here, we're going to place a right way up stair with an extra one on top and then looking away from the building, an upside down stair. And then we're going to finish with a slab, then a block, then a slab, and then looking toward the building, an upside down stair with a dark oak trapdoor on the end. Okay, now we're going to come over to our balcony right here. And in these spots, I want you to place flower pots with dead bushes and flowering azalea leaves. Then grab some spruce fence gates, we're going to place one right there, and one right there, and then holding shift, we're going to place spruce fences across our trapdoors, and then on top of all of these, we are going to place bamboo trapdoors. And just to the right of our balcony, I'm going to place two spruce fences there, and then at the front of the building, we'll do a chain and a lantern. And on this side, we'll put in our two spruce fences. And then under the one at the front, I'm going to place three chains and a lantern. And do the same thing at the back wall. Put in your two fences. We'll do a single chain and a lantern. And on this side, we'll do four chains and a lantern. And staying with our spruce fences, you can come around to this wall here. And at this height of the building, we're going to be placing four fences against every bit of stripped spruce log. So just do it three times on each wall. No need to do it at the front balcony. And once you've got those in, come down to the next level. And once again, against our spruce, go ahead and run your fences all the way around the building. And when you get to the back wall, I also want you to decorate with a few spruce fence gates. So just go ahead and throw them in where I've got them there. And you can also place an extra one just in here. And staying on the back wall, we're going to decorate with some azalea and flowering azalea leaves. So just pause the video and copy those in. And we'll just do a fly around as well. You can see I've got an extra one down the bottom there. So you can just pause as we fly around. There's one down the bottom there. This side has a few scattered around the bottom. 
and that's how it looks on each side. So once you've built that, you can come up to this level and we're going to put in the roof. And like before, I'm just going to show you the blocks and you can copy these in. So the first line is a line of slabs, but you can see there I've mixed in a stair as well. And then the next two lines are blocks. And don't forget to get these blocks underneath our spruce stairs. So here's the first one. You can pause the video and we'll fly around to the left hand side and then around to the back wall and final wall right here. So go ahead, copy those in. And once you've built that, come along to each corner here and we're just going to put eight spruce fences just like that. So do that in each corner. Okay, now we're gonna come right up the top of the build and just look over at the right hand side of the building. Against that stone block, we're gonna do a line of bamboo blocks all the way along. Then toward the front of the building, I'll put one melon block there, and then two bamboo, and on this side, three bamboo. Now on top of all of that, we are going to place mossy cobblestone walls, and then grab some dark oak stairs. On top of the final wall, we're going to place a dark oak stair, just looking away from our building. And then looking toward the center of the building, we'll do two dark oak stairs in the other direction. So same here, another two, and another two. Then you can grab some dark oak trapdoors and we're gonna place four of them on every side, just above our stairs. And once your trapdoors are in, I want you to look from the front of the building. We'll place a dark oak plank in the middle there with an extra one on top. Then holding shift, we'll do two anvils. Holding shift again, we'll do a polished deep slate wall, then a dark oak fence and two chains. So that's our middle spire. Now we're going to do little spires on the ends and these are all the same. So it's polished deep slate wall, then a dark oak fence and then a single chain. So go ahead and do one on each end of the roof. And once you've got those in, we can go ahead and fill in the roof. So once again, I'm just gonna show it to you. So looking from the front of the building, we'll come along to this section. Then we'll swing around to the left. So just pause the video as you need to and go ahead and fill all of these in. Alrighty, what I build on this side of the building, I want you to copy to all four sides. We're going to place nine bamboo trapdoors. So place two on top of the sea lanterns and just underneath these stone blocks, we are going to place five just like that. And then over here, just above the stone blocks, we are going to place two more. So do that on each side. And once again, I will show you the roofs and you can fill these in. So we've got slabs at the front and all the rest are full blocks. So this is the front side of the building. Then we will swing around to the left and we can keep going. This is the back wall and the final wall looks like this. And that's it guys. That is how to build my greenhouse. We're all done. That, uh, that was a, a mammoth tutorial recording for me. I hope it, uh, it's not too long for you as well. But anyway, guys, I've earned myself a beer, so I'm going to get going. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.